Persecution against Ahmadis is so rampant that the Lawyers Committee for International Human Rights called it both systematic and extensive. The United Nations has gone as far as to pass a resolution requesting the restoration of basic human rights and fundamental freedoms to Ahmadis. Despite this pressure, Ahmadis continue to lose the right to call themselves what they are, Muslims. I would thank you also that you have stressed uh, the importance of showing that Islam is a religion of peace, not the religion of hate, uh, as it was stated on the wall in the Yalsa, love for all, hatred for none. I think that is the message that the world really needs. Your people have been the leaders in taking the peace movement that one step further. The huge respect we have, we all have, for your work day by day in making a reality of peace and brotherhood across the communities in this country and across the world. I'd like to start by saying just how important the work of the Ahmadiyya community is. It deepens others' understanding of your own faith and it gives a voice to those who are marginalized. For me, as a student of Islam for now almost 30 years, I am constantly amazed by the depth of service that is certainly represented by this community and tradition, by the depth of tolerance and the constant searching for what it means to be human. To be a human means to be of service. And I think this is so dramatically represented by the message of this community. But there is something in the faith of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community that is striking, impressing. You teach to your followers that loyalty to your homeland is part of your faith. Ahmadi Muslims are proud of the fact that wherever they, resist, they reside in the world, they become loyal citizens. I especially applaud His Holiness for denouncing those who pervert faith by claiming it as a justification for violence. However we define God, it is wrong to kill in His name. Every corner of this earth, its founder, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed alayhi salam, called for a renaissance of Islam in which the true teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were revitalized. Yet more than 100 years later, Ahmadis are beaten, tortured, and even killed for proclaiming that Allah is one and Muhammad is his messenger. They are denied their fundamental universal freedoms of religion, speech, and self-determination by people in governments claiming a monopoly on religious expression. Ahmadis in Pakistan and Bangladesh and a growing number of countries live with uncertain futures as their mosques are burned, their school children mistreated, their husbands killed, 